cooking, cooking with Vicky. Yeah. Hi guys, it's Vicky. I'm back again. Woo -woo. And this episode, I am making. Yeah, so it's another episode of Cooking with Vicky. And so for this episode, I'm making um, pastelon de maduros. And hold on, I got to grab the recipe. Um, so it's from, what's her name? Okay, it's not on the printout. I'll leave a link at Chef Z. Chef Z cooks. You can find her on YouTube. And so Pastelon de Maduros or Platano Maduros is um, sweet plantain lasagna. And so with that, it's like layers of meat, plantains, sweet plantains, and um, cheese. It's not really like a saucy red sauce type of deal happening there. And I fell in love with this dish um, about a couple years ago. I, I was in a restaurant. They had it. I was like, oh, let me try this because, hey, I like, like empanada meat and I like plantains. Might as well go for it. Amazing. So I was like, now I'm going to make it and I'm going to have my family try it, which should be hilarious. So that, so the Pastelon de Maduros is very easy, like meat, cheese, plantains, blah, blah, blah. You just layer it like lasagna. That part's easy. But the, um, the carne molida is where it's going to be interesting. So that's the actual meat cooking part. Like I was going, I like I can do my own empanada meat, like whatever, that's easy. But I wanted to actually follow like what her recipe was to see how that would come out. And so I bought everything that I needed and we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna skip the part of me doing the prep, which is like chopping the onions, chopping the peppers, chopping blah, 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 getting all the everything, all the spices together, yada, 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 browning the meat. I'm gonna skip that part. <laughs> When, once I'm done like browning the meat and I'm actually starting to add like all the seasonings and all that stuff, then I'll bring you guys back in. And I don't know, do you guys really care? Like you have to cut the plantains lengthwise versus like on the angle, which is what you usually do. So I don't know if you guys really care about me frying the plantains. Maybe I'll show you that just because it's just like a couple minutes on each side till they're like brown and caramelized and that's it. Put them on paper towel, drain them, get the oil out. And then that's that's really it. That's like they're the easiest thing to make. They're so cheap, so easy. Um, so I'm going in, going to make this first time ever. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna see. I don't know if my family, not that they won't like it. It's a little bit out of their. It's a little out there, maybe. I I love it. Um, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Especially like my grandmother. We'll see what she says. I mean, she likes rice and beans. And I mean, who doesn't like sweet plantains? Who doesn't like empanadas? You just kind of combining the two and then putting cheese, right? So I guess we'll see. Um, hopefully, if this carne molita is like really good, then like that might be my new like official recipe for my empanada meat. Uh, so I gotta like triple the recipe, which is kind of scary because you never know how things get weird when you start increasing the size of things. So I'm going to cook it in a pot versus like a running with frying pan for the carne. And then the pot nose is going to be a running with frying pan because you just got to fry those suckers up. All right. So stay tuned. I'll be back probably in a little while because I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to brown the meat and I'm going to cut all the vegetables and everything up now. So then when I... Because then I can start doing that and frying the plantains at the same time. Because I don't want to be trying to chop and then trying to flip plantains. I'd rather be paying attention to both better. Okay? So, we'll see how long this takes. Um, we'll go. We'll go with it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, stay tuned. Well, 
we'll see how it goes. As always, guys, like, subscribe, share, help me grow, hit that thumbs up, comment, comments help, um, hit the notifications, make sure you're subscribed, and you get um, notified when I post, even though I'm pretty much posting every Wednesday. Um, I'm going to add, start adding more stuff. I am going to start a fitness journey soon. I am... Well, not, I'm always I'm on a fitness journey. Excuse me. I'm gonna start a fitness challenge soon, and I actually rope one of my friends into it. And I'm actually gonna see how many other people I'm gonna rope into it, and see how many people are willing to actually do that as well. So, uh, hold on, be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, the meat is all nicely brown. Now, sign that in all. The onions, the peppers, the, all this different seasoning, the sazon, the adobo, all of that. Gonna mix it up some. Turn it back on because I had it off. And then they also want you to add water to this. So, apparently you're supposed to bring it to a boil. Let's get all that seasoning off of the spatula. Already drained out all the um, There we go. So now I have to bring this to a boil and let it simmer so all the water simmers away. I'm just going to mix this up, make sure all the seasonings are fully incorporated. And this is going to cook down and make it beautiful. Okay. I'll be back for, I think I do this a few times before I can um, add the next ingredients. Okay. Okay. Tomato paste is in. Gonna kind of mix this around a little bit here. Try to get it incorporated. Ooh, steam. I think I'm on my final. So, tomato paste and cilantro. I think I said that. said add more water another session of water put that off to the side I think this is my I think this is my final cook down I believe there we go Stir this around a bit and cook it down again. And then I'll be uh, ready for the assembly. Yay! Hi guys, it's Vicky. So we are now going to assemble the Barcelona de Maduros. Pastelon de Platano Maduros, whatever you want to call it, or Pastelon. Um, I have my lasagna pan, my plantains. I have a whole bunch, like she only said to like make eight or ten, but I made a whole crap load. And some of them I did lighter frying, and some of them I did deeper frying. Really, the deeper frying, because I like my Platanos, like, or Maduros, whatever. I like mine, like, jet black. <laughs> I like them almost burnt, but that might be just for me to enjoy. So I don't think I'm gonna put them in there. I think I'm just gonna keep them to the side for me to eat later by myself. Um, and so we're gonna start to assemble. So the first layer is some marinara or tomato sauce. I did the Don Pepino's pizza sauce just because it's so flavorful and then it's also because my grandpa always liked Don Pepino and it's made from Jersey tomatoes. They said a very thin layer of red sauce. So this isn't a very saucy thing. So whoop. So like I'm barely putting anything in there. 
just like a very thin layer at the bottom. So I'm just going to coat it. A little bit more. She said like 16 ounces, like that's all you're using. And as you know, like regular lasagna, you're like in there with the sauce. And this is just to like kind of coat the bottom. And then the next layer, whoop, don't lose that. The next layer is, wait, okay, sweet plantains. Um, let me get some of these. Yeah, I guess that way. Let's hope I have enough. How many does it take? Melita, right? Okay, them now. Next, next layer. Next layer is whoop. Add a layer of this. Well, good. I guess I understand why you have to do three pounds of this stuff. Whoop. I should get a better spoon. I'm so used to just cooking with like. My wooden spoon. I think it's only gonna be like two layers. Ugh. I was hoping to have some leftover to make empanadas, but I don't think that's gonna happen. You know what? It feels though. If I could get like a small one that's like broken in half or something, here we go. Put you like right there. Okay, that's better. I'm like, I'm gonna need one that's like broken in half to like fit in that. It was like a weird little corner that I feel like there was nothing. Ugh. Get in there, meat. But yeah, this, the recipe for the carne melita was very nice. Um, it did take a while just because you're like filling it up with water, cooking the water down, filling it up with water, cooking the water down. Filling it up with water, cooking the water down. Okay, so that's the second layer. Um, next is a layer of mozzarella cheese. She says 16 ounces, but nothing was 16 ounces. Oh no, right? She says 16 ounces. Oh, I grabbed the extra one because I didn't know. And I'm heavy handed when it comes to cheese. And I feel like I would use all the cheese. Like I'm just about to do. <laughs> so it's a good thing I got a second bag of cheese. And then the next is another. Let's smush it down. Because we're going to have to put one more layer. And another layer. It's another layer of sauce, small amount of sauce. It's just a little bit of sauce, a spoonful here and there, spread it. Okay. Spread, 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 spread. Okay, another layer slash last layer well then now let me um not the blackened ones <laughs> okay. you were told to cut them lengthwise 
Okay, yeah, good. I have a couple that are like cut in half. Flip over. There we go. I want like the really, really sweet ones. <laughs> but like not the blackened ones that I love. I guess we're gonna fit as many of these in here as we can. See now, let's, sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to be strategic with where I put these. There we go, put you here. Cause some of them were like really, really blackened. So like they come out extra, extra sweet. Some of them were more yellow, but not as sweet. Okay, put you back. Grab you. But I don't want to put the, the super black ones because those are, that might be too much for people. Too sweet for people. Yes, I have all these like little ones. Woo! I already preheat the oven, whatever. It is on the 350 or whatever. Alright. I want to make sure there's a good layer of plantains. Like the first layer is whatever. But this second layer I really want it to be like plantain -y. Like there's gonna be a plantain. I think that's it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So more meat. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the last layer. <laughs> And I'm spilling meat because this is a poor choice of spoon. This thing is going to be hefty. Now I don't know why that like Puerto Rican restaurant only has this as like a special on Thursdays. Because it takes you a while to make the meat. It's not even about like this part simple like. I'm assembling it so quickly. I think they said the last layer is just going to be cheese on the top, like any lasagna. Sorry. Ugh. Oh, I should have took a picture. Oh, well. I'll take a picture, a final picture. Mm. Sure, it's nice and meaty. Right, because this will cook down as stuff like settles, as the cheese and stuff melt down and settles. Okay. All right, well, there's like a corner of meat left. And my heat just turned on. Okay. So there's that, that, that. Now, the final cheese on the top. And this is why I buy extra cheese. Uh, you want me to add more tomato sauce? I don't, I don't think I need more tomato sauce. I think there's enough tomato sauce in this. Maybe it went too heavy on the cheese on that one layer. But that's okay. Final cheese. Maybe I'll stop and buy a second bag just to put on the top. There we go! <laughs> My pasta long day maduros. Ugh! Oh my gosh, this thing weighs a ton. So let me pull it up for you. Smile so I get a thumbnail. Okay, um, into the oven goes at 350. Bake until cheese is melted. Okay, so guys, um, the next part of the video will be my family eating this. <laughs> um, we'll see if they like it or not. And I am going to eat some plantains. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. Okay. Good. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to another episode. Oh, it does. 
What's going on, y'all? I'm about to try this. What? What is it called? Pastelon de Maduros. All right. Here it goes. Good. That's some exotic notes in there. It's like sweet oh, and savory. Uh, 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 that's always a problem. Uh, that's always a change. problem. That was my cousin Matthew trying it. <laughs> so you sweet and uh, unsweet uh, no, plantains. No, sweet plantains. Sweet plantains? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, me? Hey, eat it out there. Beef. Beef. Oh, not the line. That's good. Let me try. Okay, cousin Nache is trying the pastelum de Maduros. Hi mom. All right, it seems different layers. You good, Taylor? Yep. Need help? Jump okay, that's enough meat. Yeah. Hi mom. Sorry. Guys. Oh, that's really good. No, seriously. Right? Yes. The plantains with the meat. It gives like a nice contrast. Mm -hmm. With taste. the saltiness of the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> sweet of the plantains. Yep. Sets it off. Sets it off. Very good. Sage the black. This is my uncle Kevin. <laughs> all right. Now this is Puerto Rican. I, I think I'm gonna do it off camera. No. Well, you all uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so watch what you say. <laughs> no, it's good. No, it's good. <laughs> I'm saying, like, there's no, no filter right there. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is my cousin Bruce. It is good. Thanksgiving with my crazy family. 
Yeah, even my mom liked it. That was a surprise. All right, guys. Bye. I don't want to eat because I'll be like eating this. Oh shoot! I didn't stop. <laughs> My bad. I didn't stop recording. Hold on. <laughs>